If you're not very good on defense, you don't know where to use her or who to cover during a play, just hold this button down throughout the entire play to activate a control called Defensive Assist. And you can see here how it did everything for me, eventually making the tackle on the running back. <laughs> If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. College Football 25 is the first EA Sports college football game in over a decade. And since there's no real tutorials in this game, there's a ton of hidden features that it might take you a while to find. So in today's video, I'm going to break all this down, starting off with some things you can do in the settings. But before I do, if you guys learn anything new from this video, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. And if you need more help, you can download my eBooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. For my first tip, if you're struggling with the new kicking meter, and I know a lot of you are, because the game's been out for over a week and a half, and every single time I go into a game, people are still missing easy extra points and short field goals, as well as kicking the ball out of bounds. If you've been playing Madden for the last several years and you want to go back to that old style, all you have to do is go over to the Game Settings tab, and then scroll down to where it says Kicking Control Scheme, and you can change it from Tap and Hold what it's currently on over to Tap and Tap, making it much easier to make field goals in my opinion. Next up, we're going to stay in the settings and we're going to scroll down to the gameplay helper section as the majority of these are based off of defense. If you haven't been in the gameplay settings game options yet to change these, this is exactly how they're going to look. As important ones like defensive heat seeker assist are off and your defensive heat seeker window size is set to 100%. I'm not going to go over all these because I already did a full video breaking down how important it is to change some of these. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. But the most important one in my opinion is definitely heat seeker assist if you're missing a lot of tackles and you don't know why you're going to want to turn this on or you won't get the benefit of the heat seeker window size at all and if you think 100 percent is the maximum you can actually turn this all the way up to 200 percent so if you want something that's going to help you get more tackles as heat seeker assist really acts like a magnet that draws you into the ball carrier once you get close you're going to want to turn this on and turn it all the way up to 200 percent and you'll get sucked in from much further distances to make tackles much easier Next up, if your opponent is sending a lot of man zero blitzes, it's going to cause a lot of frustration if you don't have enough blockers. But simply blocking the running back is not enough, as it will help to pick up the blitz, but it will also allow the defender that was covering him to double team receivers downfield. But there's a trick to that, as all you have to do is either pick a play where the running back is in a block and release, or put him in a block and release, which is also found in your running back hot routes under the left trigger. Doing so will allow you to slide protection and assign them to block somebody throughout the entire play, but it will also make sure that the defender covering them will just hover around the line of scrimmage, allowing you to still have one-on-one -on -one coverage outside and easily beat this defense. And you can see how this adjustment will give you the best of both worlds as it completely flips these principles upside down as this defender is now just hanging out around the line of scrimmage waiting for a block and release is never going to happen. Next up, if you're having a hard time reading a defense or you don't know what your opponent has been running against you on offense, you may think that there's not a previous play screen in this game. And that's because it's hidden behind these player stats. As all you have to do to access previous play screen is hit the right stick to the right after a play and it will show you the last play that was run on offense and defense. Next up, if you're tired of accidentally switching to different players once the play starts with the new switch stick system, you can actually lock in a player by pushing in the left stick twice. This will change the camera angle to first person view though, so just be aware of that as it does make it a little bit more difficult to play deep passing lanes. But it's still pretty simple and it's worth giving a try. If you're playing against a quarterback who's running around and making a lot of plays, one of the easiest ways to stop this is by pushing in the right stick to send the nearest defender. This can be especially effective if you put a player into a QB spy before the play starts, which is simply by pushing the A button and then hitting left on the right stick to put him in a QB spy. Doing this isn't gonna do much for your coverage as he'll pretty much just hang out around the line of scrimmage, but it's really good if your quarterback tries to escape the pocket as he will mirror him the entire way. And the second he leaves the pocket, you can push him the right stick to send him right after the quarterback for easy pressure, as well as to make sure that he doesn't get much on the ground. Next up, if you're tired of getting suctioned into blocks on run plays and being held throughout the entire play, there's a function for that too, as you can use the hit stick in a very similar fashion to get off of blocks very quickly. So whether in kick return coverage, where you're typically running down the field and trying to get to the back, or in a run play, all you have to do to blow up a blocker is flick the right stick the second you make contact or get close enough to the offensive lineman that they're going to put hands on you. And you'll notice a lot of times it'll just bounce right off them and get right to the ball carrier. 
Just make sure not to hold it too long as you might accidentally do a cut stick function taking the player completely out of the play. Next up, matching style defenses can be problematic as a lot of times the deep safeties and deep coverage cornerbacks can get confused and let up easy one play touchdowns. And that's because these quarter defenders are responsible to these areas similar to man coverage. So a lot of times they'll get drawn out of their area very easily. But if you want to change it, you have some options. You could play underneath, which is simply hitting the wire triangle button and down the right stick, and it will turn these quarter flats into hard flats. But what if you don't want them to cover short? If you want to keep the deep quarter flats, all you have to do is hit wire triangle and then hit the left bumper or L1 button if you're on PlayStation and play sticks. Doing this will assure that these deep quarter coverage safeties and cornerbacks will basically just play like a more traditional cover four and not let anything get behind them. You will give up more short throws, but you'll see how they'll drop back this time and not let anything get behind them deep, which is often what you really want them to do. Playing sticks also helps if you like to set your zone drops, as it really doesn't matter whether you play underneath for a hard flat or if you play over the top for a cloud flat, if you set your zone drops to 30 or zero or whatever you set it to, they're gonna drop back to that depth. As you can see here, I played a hard flat, but this cornerback is set to a 30 yard depth. So he's just gonna sprint to the back to make sure nothing gets behind him. But if you see something before the play that makes you want to play hard flats, all you have to do is play sticks once again, and it will erase your zone drop settings and allow this cornerback to focus on the hard flat. And now you can see how this cornerback's gonna play down like a traditional cover two hard flat very aggressively and playing inside of a five yard distance. Next up, if you're not very good on defense, you don't know where to use her or who to cover during a play, all you have to do is hold the left bumper or the L1 button once the play starts, and it will do all that for you. As you can see right here, I didn't even hit my directional stick, and I ran underneath uh, the running back or underneath the receiver on the left side. If I switch to this linebacker here, I'll do the exact same thing. I don't do anything. I'm not hitting the right stick. I'm simply just pressing the L1 or the LB button to activate a control called defensive assist. As this is a new function that basically plays defense for you, regardless of what position you play. So if I want to play this curl flat, all I have to do once again, once the play starts, hold the left bumper in and you can see how I didn't move until I hit that left bumper. And that includes run defense as I decided to play as a safety on the next play. All I did was holding the L1 or the LB button and you can see here how it did everything for me, eventually making the tackle on the running back even though he got about five yards down the field. Doing this though will essentially revert to Madden's AI. So if you want help for them to get you in position, that's fine, but I would eventually take over and make the play yourself. So I'm gonna go end the video there. If you guys learned anything in this video, please make sure to be a subscriber. And if you wanna see more tip videos about College Football 25, I'll have them popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.